Welcome back everybody. Continuing with trying to bring you some more heart healthy recipes, I'm gonna take one of my old stir fry recipes and we'll flip it around and try to make it low sodium. Blackstone Pro Series griddle. I have mine on medium today. The Pro Series burns really hot, so I suggest you have your griddle on high. The hotter the better. Stir fry is fast and furious. We're using avocado oil today. I primarily use avocado oil and extra virgin olive oil. Genetics played a huge role in my heart attack. I huge history of heart disease in my family. But I obviously want to take things seriously and try to go with less sodium and less fat whenever I can. So we're going down with chicken breast, boneless and skinless. You can see I trimmed that up really nicely. A little more avocado if you need it. I have everything prepped out, including red onion, chopped red onion, red bell pepper. You can, of course, use the color of your choice. Shredded carrot, broccoli slaw mixture. It has broccoli, little pieces of carrots, Brussels sprout, and kale. Snow peas, and these aren't the most appealing today. I couldn't find fresh zucchini spirals. These were frozen, and I thawed them out. Go down with zucchini spirals. Meanwhile, the chicken, looking really good. I'm gonna add some chopped serranos. You can do serranos or jalapenos, along with a bunch of crushed cloves of fresh garlic. We can season this any way we want to. Like I said, I'm trying to go lower sodium. I could use a pinch of salt, garlic, pepper. I've got fresh garlic in there. But I have some Mrs. Dash today, some Dash all-purpose seasoning, basically a bunch of dehydrated vegetable flakes. The cool thing about the salt-free seasonings is you can use as much as you want to. Chicken's getting really close, okay? I'm going to mix that up with my veggies straight away because I want the oils from the chicken to mix into the veggies. Let's talk noodles. So today we have these stir fry rice noodles. In the past, you know me, been a big advocate of these for years, okay? But a lot of sodium. So the trade-off was more carbohydrates here, but like zero sodium. I'm not gonna be your dietitian, right? You might have diabetes, you might have heart disease, you might have celiac or something, so you'll have to figure out. So I'm trying to go with a heart healthy diet. I'm gonna go with less sodium. So these are real simple. I boiled up some water in the house. We cooked them for about five minutes and then I sprinkled a little bit of oil on there so they didn't stick together. So down onto the griddle top. Gonna mix that up straight away with the rest of my stir fry. I don't like my stir fry veggies to be soggy. You know, I want a little bit of texture in those onions and in the bell peppers. So we'll put those uh, noodles in there and we'll keep mixing it around. I like to go in with spinach toward the end of my stir fry. In the past, you know me, I'm Mr. Sweet Thai Chili. Sugar, right? Mr. Yoshida's, sugar. Soy sauce, ooh, a lot of sodium. About a thousand milligrams of sodium in a serving of soy sauce. I checked out the light soy sauce, that was like 500 milligrams, so half. But my wife found this a couple years ago, liquid aminos, only about 300 milligrams per serving. So a lot less sodium and it's that same flavor as soy sauce. So we'll put a few splashes of the liquid aminos down on our stir fry. I can smell it, smells just like soy sauce. My stir fry is looking phenomenal. I think it's time to pull it. Here we go. Oh yeah, rice noodles looking very, very good. So now I have a reason to experiment with low sodium and I'm doing it. So uh, thanks for joining me on this journey. A delicious stir fry, but without all the sodium or all the sugar that you find in those traditional sauces that I use quite a bit. If you want to, you can grab a little bit of sriracha, pretty low sodium, it's under 100 milligrams. And we can just make that look pretty with a little bit of sriracha on top. Take a look at that. Let's serve up a little Todd size portion of my stir fry. A little sriracha for me. You could dust this with herbs if you wanted to. A little bit of sesame seed. Let's give it 
a try. It tastes exactly the way I would expect it to taste. It tastes a lot like my old stir fry. The noodles are amazing, those rice noodles, but there's less sodium, okay? So if you're not on a low sodium diet, you might not want to do this, but if you're on a low sodium diet, why not? It's killer. And the neat thing about it being stir fry is so many variables, so many options compared to other recipes. So many different types of noodles and rice. This could be chicken, it could be pork, it could be venison, it could be strips of steak, it could be shrimp, it could be scallops. Oh my goodness, same thing with the veggies. Snow peas, broccoli, carrot, kale, spinach. There's so many different variations. Take one last look at my new, more heart healthier, low sodium stir fry and hopefully we'll have lots more of these recipes coming your way soon. So thanks for watching, and until next time, praise the Lord and pass this, a low sodium version of one of my stir fry recipes.